What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today I want to do something a little bit different with my crickets. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Are you turn when possible? No, we're not. So I used to breed crickets. I had hundreds of them, probably even thousands of crickets. But here recently I've just been keeping just, just enough to feed my tarantulas and give some to Joe's Bearded Dragon. And I want to try something a little bit different with the water situation. What I'm thinking is the sponge for the larger crickets isn't working out as well as I had hoped. I mean, it works, but I have to stay on top of it. I have to water it two or three times a day just to keep them hydrated. So what I want to try to do is something a little bit different. And years ago when I had bearded dragons, like close to 20 years ago, I had this um, cricket waterer. And it had this ring here. And... this setup so i had this as the water you put the ring you put this ring here to keep them from drowning and then of course you fill this up with water almost like a chicken waterer but it's for crickets and it keeps them from drowning because it's got those small holes there so that they can't drown another issue that i have is the female crickets they lay the eggs on the sponge i mean they fill that sponge up with eggs and kind of make it kind of gross you know because then the fruit flies come and then the eggs are all in there and it's just really gross so i want to try this and see if this helps with keeping things a little bit cleaner so i'm going to go ahead and set up the bin and try this and see how see how well it works let me go fill that up and i'll be right back oh before I fill that up, in order to keep this clean, I want to have an additional ring to switch this out so I can, I have three of these bottom parts, so there's not a problem there, but I only have one of these, so I want to make another ring, so let me show you what I'm going to do. I have this piece of plexiglass here, and what I want to do is I'm gonna make a couple more of these rings here so I'm just gonna take my pen trace this out cut it out with my jigsaw cut that out with my jigsaw and then actually first I'll draw all the holes draw all the holes first and then cut the ring cut this out and cut this out with my jigsaw so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then fill fill up the water and set up the crickets Got this filled up with some dechlorinated water. Got my ring on there. Now just screw this on and then flip it right side up and then that chamber will slowly fill and then this will start to float. And there we go. And there we go. Let's see kind of want that to be a little bit higher up actually Pick this up so this should float there we go now it's floating okay all right let's get this bin set up food and I like I really like to feed this um, flukers 
Fluker's High Calcium Cricket Diet. I really like this stuff. They go crazy for this. And I will also supplement this with Bug Burger and the Morning Wood that I feed my isopods. A lot of scared crickets there and the ones that die I will be feeding those out to my isopods like I always have and some of these my isopods are huge meat eaters they love their proteins all right so I'm gonna put this away and let them have at it and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on that other ring Here's something random. Y'all guys ever make a to-do list? I have a to-do list. Look at this. Look at this list. Look at this. That's my to-do list. There's easily, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, 25 items on my 24 25 items on my to-do list and this ring project is nowhere near on my list it's just something that I want to do in addition to my to-do list all right let's go outside and get this cut up All right, I'm just simply gonna clamp this down and drill out every one of these holes. I'm gonna do that part first. And I'm using a 5 30 seconds drill bit. Here we go. Boy, this is a hundred holes. This is gonna take a while. Oh my goodness. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now I'm gonna go get my jigsaw and cut this out. First I'm gonna drill a series of holes in here so I can get the jigsaw blade in there. See if I can drill them side by side. Good. Maybe not. Let's see, bigger drill bit. There we go. Okay, got my jigsaw. Yo, look at that sky. I'm racing against this. I don't see any rain, but it's coming. It's coming. All right, let me hurry up and get this. Get this cut out real fast. All right, I'm gonna get you guys inside. Be right back. Y'all, I finished just in the nick of time before the bottom fell out. <laughs> but here we go. Oh, you can't see that? Barely. All right, I'm using my Dremel tool to grind out this middle section so it'll fit on the, the water part of this waterer. On there pretty good 
it could use a little bit more shaving down just a little bit because I ideally this should float in there but it's getting there um, I just need to grind a little bit more here open that up some so it'll sit flat in this water portion my new concoction works I just water tested it and it works great so when that one gets all nasty and disgusting and gross I can easily swap it out with this clean one in its place and I don't have to worry about the crickets running out of water so this is going to be very 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 helpful if you guys if you're looking for a good waterer I would suggest to go to tractor supply or a feed store and see if you can find a chicken waterer and making this yourself and all you gotta do is cut out the middle and then around the outside and take a dremel and shave it down until it fits in here and then when you fill the trough up when you fill the trough up with water this this ring should float and I looked on Amazon and the place that I originally got this from is no longer selling them but they also they sell the sponges I'll oh, shoot I'm not gonna give the business name or anything but look at that just for the sponges fifteen dollars just for the sponge I can't even imagine how much this right here will cost nowadays yeah guys make your own don't use the sponge the sponge gets disgusting the crickets will chew it up and they will also lay eggs in it and poop all over it that's going to be gross to clean that sponge out and keep using it it's going to build up a lot of bacteria and disgustingness and it's going to smell this plastic ring however this right here is going to be a lot easier to clean and it's reusable infinitely you can have this forever I mean the crickets are not going to be able to chew this that's way too hard so make your own well, I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video bye